Peace. Y'all caught me in very rare form today. <laughs> nah. Uh, word up, though. Chill. I gotta be Lord of all worlds. You know, I haven't really mastered this yet, you know, but... Uh, yeah, but anyway, today's dealing with the science of understanding cipher. That's 30. Um, understanding is more than just comprehension. Understanding is like uh, seeing. So when you study a lot of indigenous original tribes or original civilizations around the world, one of the most fundamental ways in which information is transmitted or conveyed is through symbolic imagery. So symbolic imagery is philosophically the same thing as understanding because what it does is it means, what it means is that you draw a mental picture of something. You know what I mean? So understanding is combined to knowledge and wisdom, right? So like I built about before, knowledge is more than information. It's awareness and it's consciousness. Consciousness in a form of expression through words, ways, and actions is that mental picture. So a lot of times we would teach through all traditions and give people a mental picture of a lot of the symbolic imagery or the psychodramas of life. And that's the way that we would convey different teachings or, the, you know, the, uh, to show people, you know, the science of the right direction from the wrong direction. So it's like when you think about understanding a cipher, a cipher is any person, place, or thing. So anything is a cipher, 360 degrees complete object, animate or inanimate. You know what I mean? And it's like what that means is being circumspect or having a holistic or seeing things in totality. That's what understanding cipher means. And what happens is if you want to see something completely, it's like you not only have to have a subjective perspective, meaning to be uh, a part of it, but you also have to have an objective perspective, meaning that, you know, um, on one hand, you have to have some sense of emotional investment in it. You know what I'm saying? That's wisdom. But at the same time, you have to have an angle where you're not emotionally invested in it because you may not be able to see it for what it is. And it's like a good uh, illustration of that is like, you know, uh, wisdom being emotion, sometimes emotion can cloud the way in which you see something. And that's having a very subjective, you're too subjective in your perspective. But objectification is almost like being 20 miles outside of some shit. You know what I mean? And it's like, you know, from that perspective, you have more of a, a microscopic view of it. You see what I'm saying? And that's more of a scientific idea of what is going on because you're not involved in your own project like that. You see what I'm saying? So it's like wisdom being emotional or feelings, you know, and that being sometimes something that can cloud the way in which you see something. Understanding is above wisdom, so that gives you a bird's eye view. So it's like soaring above the clouds that are shrouding the way in which you're seeing something. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that emotions is always negative or anything like that. Like I said, sometimes you have to be subjective to get a certain view of that particular side of that cipher. But at the same time, you also got to be objective to get a view of the other side of the cipher. Now think about how many times you might have been in a relationship or you might have dealt with, you know, an association or you might have been in the justice cipher born or anything that you've involved yourself in. Sometimes being up close to it, you can't see it. It's almost like missing a forest for the trees. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like, you know, Sometimes you need to be up on it to really see what it is. Neither one is greater than the other. It's just a difference in perspective at that time. You know what I mean? Like, think about times you might have been dealing with somebody, and it's like, damn, you know, up close, it's like, damn, you know, everything is peace, blah, blah, blah. And then when you stand back, you're like, what the fuck was I doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like, you know, other times, other times, you might have been up close and just took it for granted. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, whatever, you know, not even really, you know. And then you stand back and you're like, damn, I really fucked that up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, a, different in perspective, a difference in perspective, you know what I mean? So, like I said, in order to understand a cipher, you have to be able to see the totality of what it is. You know what I mean? It's like everybody has a dichotomous side. That's God and devil. That's up and down. That's left and right. That's in and out. You know what I'm saying? Um, everything is based upon a dichotomy or dualistic side. So whenever you're looking at a cipher, 
You know what I'm saying? Um, being circumspect is like being able to see all things, all points of that 360 degrees from all different angles. So it's like at the same time when you're building with somebody, right? Um, you know, for example, this is this is this is just uh, as far as like the gods in my tree. How we do. It's like if, if I'm building one of the gods or something like that, um, we never deny each other their angle of perspective. Like, for example, you may be building with some people, and every other word out of their mouth is, oh, now cipher God, oh, now cipher God, oh, now cipher Earth, now cipher. Now cipher means no, for y'all that don't understand that language. Now cipher, no, 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 no. But what happens is you are denying a person of their angle. You see what I'm saying? There is one absolute truth, but there are always relative truths that are an aspect of that one absolute. So what a person is seeing, that is their angle. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times within even the language, you can shut a person down or deny a person or make a person basically uh, um, uh, go within themselves to the point where they don't want to share shit with you because of the way that you interact with them. You never deny nobody uh, uh, the ability to express their angle, no matter how fucked up it may sound or, or appear to be to you. You see what I'm saying? Um, if it is going to be something that fucks you up, you just get out of the way. But you don't deny a person, you know what I'm saying, the ability to express that. And, and for the all sitting there thinking about, like, serial murders and child molesters and shit like that, I'm not talking about that kind of shit. Motherfuckers like that. I ain't got to get into that. But what I'm saying is when a person, if you're sitting there having dialogue with a person and they say something that, you know, you may look at like that shit is just completely fucked up. You still allow a person to express where they're coming from because that's their angle that they're viewing from the cipher. You know what I'm saying? That's their understanding. You know what I mean? And it's like, you know, even in the language, you know, if a person says something um, like, yeah, uh, I believe this or I see this, instead of you oftentimes just saying, no, that's not it, this is what it is, it's like, especially if you want to maintain a relationship with them. And what that is called is, that is called coming to a consensus. Now, you think about it, the democratic process, what that does is it manufactures devil. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you, already, you always have to have some people who are for and some people who are against because you go through a voting methodology, which means somebody is always going to be left out. Devil is manufactured from separation of germs. So when you separate people saying, how many people raise your hand if how many people want eggs for breakfast? Okay. Oh, raise your hand how many people want some cereal for breakfast? Now you have opposing sides. You have competition. You just made devil. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's like when you deal with a consensus method, what you do is you take everybody's opinion or everybody's idea into consideration, and then you come up with a plan or an idea which is in the best interest of all those involved because the most important aspect of that is to maintain a relationship. A democratic process does not maintain relationship. It always has to deny some body their opinion or their idea. So it's within the very language. So it's like, for example, me and, my, me and the guys in my tree building, we never say no. We never say no. Nah. We put it like this. If you're saying something and you may be missing something, we say, well, God, um, we'll look at it like this too. Well, God, did you think about that? We never say throw your shit in the fucking garbage and look at it this way. Because, like I said, that is a demo, a democratis, demon kratis process, and you gonna make devil because you gonna deal with separation. You see what I'm saying? But when you deal with a consensus methodology, you always maintain the relationship, which is the most important. And that's just what I'm dealing with in regards to understanding cipher. You know what I'm saying? It's like, um, you know, seeing things means you see it and you deal with a, a sense of circumspection. In order to do that, you know, you have to allow people to express where they're coming from and not deny people wherever they're coming from because that way you won't see things in their complex. You won't see the, the totality of what it is because you're denying motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, that's what I'm dealing with today. That's understanding cipher. Let's me, let me fix my little tie here. <laughs> Get out of these... <laughs>
get out of these Mr. Rogers clothes and uh, peace. Y'all have a beautiful day.